Um, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you could use ESP32 um, to send data over Mavlink data over Wi-Fi and um, f uh, it is said that you could achieve uh, one kilometer of telemetry range using uh, proper antennas on e uh, ESP32 moreover external antennas and uh, the LEDs blink if the data is transmitting uh, depending on the data rate the LED refresh rate increases and it is connected over telem2 of my pixoc and let's just open up uh, I will just go through the code once uh, not fully through the code but give you an idea on how it actually works so the ESP32 here is creating a hotspot um, it has a password uh, so this is encrypted um, so you could have any password based on it uh, you could connect over Wi-Fi and the port that my Q ground control needs to subscribe is to 14551 so this is the port that I have assigned as of now to the ESP32 over which it creates a UD, uh, which creates a UDP port uh, on the ESP32 module uh, and the data is sent over those ports uh, that particular port um, and this is the LED uh, how LEDs are supposed to work and let's close this let's open up Q ground control uh, and let's see so yeah so I have uh, disconnected I have unticked all the just let's just go I have unticked all the auto connect features so that it doesn't it does not automatically connect or uh, okay it's disconnected my pixoc is connected to a different laptop and uh, you could see uh, right now the lights are blinking uh, maybe wait yes and uh, let me go back and uh, let's connect over port number 14551 com links and i have already made one so i will just show you uh, exactly that it is connected to 14551 uh, it will connect to 14551 and let's close it and let's click the connect button and uh, let's go back and there's one more thing that I would like to show you See, uh, so I'm connected to the hotspot Pixoc ESP32 so if I go to the code the hotspot that's getting created is named ESP32 and uh, I am connected over the same port that's the one catch that uh, there is with this as uh, as of now with my uh, setup but uh, yeah uh, so let's just close it up and you could see that uh, the blinking rate has increased and let's move the autopilot and on the right top corner you could see how it's connected to the pixoc and you could see the movements are similar and if I remove it you could see that the whole thing disconnects and uh, you will see a disconnect button and if I am to repower it again so the thing should start transmitting again and you could see it's a reliable and fast connection so the boot timing is quite low uh, i mean yeah so basically you could have data transmitting transmission at least over one kilometer but moreover telemetry data i don't think video data uh, I can't. I don't think SP32 is going to support video data uh, apart from the camera that it supports uh, the small one. Uh, so let's just plug it out. 
so to just show you the sp32 i am using the sp32 cam module and uh, the pins i am using here and you could see sp32 and it has a small antenna sma antenna mounting sma2 i don't exactly remember the name but you could mount antenna mount an external antenna uh, maybe the but this particular one is a patch antenna you could have uh, i don't know depending on your use case you could have antennas and at least achieve 1 km of range los or even more uh, but yeah i am not claiming anything but you could achieve and this lights are actually quite bright you could also have uh, strobe lights with it yeah, and uh, yeah there are many use cases of w uh, even esp32 and uh, this is one okay guys i guess that added some knowledge to your i 